Hey, what's up, humans? Welcome back to the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. This is Mass Effect 2, Episode 8. In the last mission, we went with Kasumi to a house party. And then we broke into the host's vault. That host being Donovan Hawk. We were there to get uh, her partner's gray box, which is a bunch of memories, but it also has information in there. And information that if, got, if it got out, could start galactic war. So we did that. We got the best SMG in the game and we made a room explode with the arc projector. So it was quite an exciting episode. Uh, not sure how the arc projector did that in that episode, but I have a feeling that we primed those two people and then one ran off towards the tank that you're supposed to set the tank off in order to blow up the, the, uh, the fuel cells on the other side of the room. And I think that it arced from him, the arc projector shot and hit the tank and the tank blew up the wall all in one shot. So I have a short of that. Uh, I'm going to try to plug that right here. And then, um, yeah, it, it's just in the last episode, episode seven, Kasumi's gray box. And it's about an hour and two minutes in. So if you want to see it in, in real time and not in the shorts, then go to one hour, two minutes in and, uh, and start there. And that's, that'll get you right at that moment. Um, if you want to see it, if not, then I will say again that I have not been able to recreate that moment. So I'm not entirely sure what happened there. So before we get going, let's change our appearance. Well, I think that looks nice. So I think that's what we're going to do here. What a weird helmet. Still no fish. So before we go on to our next loyalty mission, I wonder who, who could have a loyalty mission this early. But before we do that, we're, let's talk to the crew. Does anyone have anything to say about that spectacular moment? Grunt! Did you see that? Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. <laughs> I was just, <laughs> just sitting here thinking picture. I'm finally starting to get it. 
There's a tank imprint. The battle at Canrum. A dead Turian, stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head. And a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. I don't know if I'll be coming down here for these talks anymore. Whatever. Don't have to be friends to fight good enemies. Just thought you'd like to know I'm finding reasons for my own battles. That's great, and has changed. Man, sometimes my responses are bullshit. It's like, why would I ever say that? Back for another lesson. Ever been to a Batarian prison? They don't trust you enough to sell you into slavery. That's where they send you. In there, you got two choices. Bash your head open on the wall, or kill everyone between you and the exit. I knew this girl once, Asari. Good head on her shoulders. We had this whole thing going, until she sold me out to the blood pack. Put a sour note on the relationship. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. One of the best voice actors that gaming ever had. May he rest in peace. Rest in peace, Robin Sachs. I didn't didn't really want to say that to to Grunt, you know. It's like I don't think I'm coming down here for these talks anymore. What the hell? The hell, Bioware. Let me see my face. There's a light right here. Light source. Light up the face. How do you light it up for this conversation? Jack, what are you doing? Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so? I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. What did you do when you found out? What do you think? Well, I think they're dead. You must have met some good people, too. Everybody wants something, and because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson, not at all, and that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. You were a pirate too? Ties in with the kidnapping, if you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. A space station. You're pushing what I can believe. 
Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. Had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. Turians think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. Jack, you need to really watch your mouth. YouTube has changed their policies, and uh, if you cuss too much, then this may get flagged. Military's a hard target. Bet that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism in that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. They really liked that moon. Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not gonna change. Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. So fuck you, and thanks for asking. I'm glad we're friends, Jack. What are you looking at? Did I get your stuff? Indeed, I did, I did get your stuff. I just heard the collectors hit the Ferris Fields colony. Everyone's gone. Shit! We are going to make those dirty buggers pay. <laughs> buggers. Bug. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. You know, beating your superior officer at poker would be a bad career move. Uh, yeah? Okay. Yay! I won 500 credits. Nice playing, Commander. Shepard's teasing really threw you off. You mean that pulling rank shit wasn't serious? Oh man, I can't believe I fell for that. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. Damn straight I am. Glad I could help. Sue me. Can we talk now? There you are. I really appreciate your help with the Hawk Heist. I know why we had to destroy Keiji's Grey Box, but it doesn't make it any easier. One of the girls in navigation thinks she might be pregnant. Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, life finds a way. I have to say, that Jacob. Mm -hmm. He seems pretty intense. I wonder if he likes Japanese girls with a pension for kleptomania. Probably not. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. I'm gonna be honest with you, Kasumi. It seems pretty straight up. Or the blue liquid. Or the red liquid. I'm 
drink the purple liquid. Wow. Well, it's let's pour the red liquids. Pour uh, the red liquid. And then, and then, I'll pour the blue liquid. And it also makes purple liquid. And we're going to take this shot. Shepard, the men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. I don't need to use the bathroom. Careful, we drinking. Heavily today. Cheers. time aren't we Kasumi you got books like I got books you got paintings that's different from anything at Hawks we got a statue head we got a rose and another painting Oh, uh, the 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 room stopped spinning. Yes, bathroom. Want me to use the bathroom, ED? Is that it? Thanks, mom. It's just too dangerous for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Yeah, Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Yeah. But that's the most that they'll do. They'll make sure that they're in a Cerberus facility decorated with dead bodies on the ground. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? Yeah! You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Vrolic Syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it weren't, but sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard. 
Our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? To the people we care for. May we never take them for granted. Oh, wasted again. Chalk was that's gonna hurt in the morning. Healing of the scars. That's one thing. If they were to remake the Mass Effect trilogy, what would you want them to change in in this series? So I'll tell you, I would like more time with my crew. I want more stories. I want more romance options. Because we just don't have, you know, many options in the first game. Um, so, just having, having something would be better than, than nothing. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. Asari. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did you say Asari? Chopped up Asari heads. Miranda. Commander. What can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Stop playing hard to get. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. You can call me by my first name, Theodore. I'll also take Theo and Ted. Or Teddy. You don't have to call me by my last name. And last, but finally not least, this floor. Commander, can I help you with something? We could. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the collectors? We've got the best armor available. The rest is outside my expertise, Commander. So sometimes that'll still be there, and sometimes it won't. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. Oh, Cerberus we'll people later. are so fucking lame. Commander. Talk! That was rude. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Some other time. About to test new bioweapon. Not on us, of course. Didn't think I had to specify, but Joker got nervous. Anything else? Yeah, we already have your stuff. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. I need you now, Morden.
All right. I'm gonna have to go with AP ammo. Shredder is nice, but this has more of an application that you can use. Micro scanner. Oh, there, Joker. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here. We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. <laughs> it's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. I'm not saying anything about Jack. I'm not stupid. I like Kasumi, but why do I feel like I need to check the Citadel for parts she may have pawned? It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. So, yeah, That's well, it for now. See Jack, you, Commander. Jack was not with us in that last mission. Switch her into her new outfit. All right. So. We have to move onward. That's cool. Still so much to do. It doesn't seem like a lot, but all these systems, all these little regions. So we're in the Aquila system. Aquila. Paulino. A relatively small hydrogen helium gas giant, Paulino remains un undeveloped while its sister planet, Metaponto, garners all the attention. This was not always the case. In 2180, news stories seeded throughout the extranet claimed that Element Zero was being found on Polino's moons in record iodes. This, or is that loads? Is that loads? Okay. This turned out to be a scam spread by the Duno Warachum cons Consortium. An Elcor corporation trying to scare up investors after a small fleet of space probes scattered the area. The hype quickly deflated and the myth only persists now in unwanted extranet email messages. Metaponto a hydrogen helium gas giant, Metaponto has developed a helium-3 fueling station funded by Elcor business interests who 
hope to bring enough attention to the system to attract terraforming investors and thus eventually develop Volturno as a habitable world. Thus far, they have met with little success. Lots of gas jams. So here we go. Volturno. <clears throat> a so-called super earth, Volturno is home to organic life, but is nevertheless uninhabitable for the near future. Currently, in an ice age, most of the planet from the latitude of 30 degrees north or south is a frozen wasteland, and so most organic life, limited to algae and lichens, resides near the equator. The strong gravity prevents any sapient species but Elcor from thriving on the planet, and the Elcor cannot breathe the planet's atmosphere, which contains lethal amounts of carbon dioxide in addition to its oxygen. Small packs of Vorcha squatters are attempting to take the planet for themselves illegally, but most of them live miserable existences in the planet's crushing gravity and die from falls and medical complications. Only terraforming on a massive scale would turn Vol Volturno into a habitable world, and the Elcor lack the political capital with the Citadel Council to begin such an effort. Away. I claim this in the name of the Alliance. And we got Lapini, a hydrogen methane gas giant. Lapini and its moons have been cur cur cursorily scanned by space probes and found to have little in the way of rare resources. The galaxy at large considers it unremarkable. And Vecchio. Vecchio is a moderately sized terrestrial world with a thin, hot atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Initial surveys found trace amounts of iridium, but little else of interest in the <clears throat> silicate desert sands that cover much of the surface of the planet. On a recent tour, the Alliance surveyor ship Coupe <clears throat> discovered a group of partial graves hidden in the, the equatorial mountain ranges. The ancient skeletons in the burial sites are obviously humanoid, but incomplete and poorly preserved, which has made them difficult to identify. Fragments of primitive ceramic grave goods were also found nearby. This raises further questions about who once traveled to this inhospitable planet, since the closest garden world, Volturno, has no intelligent life. Human universities are planning further archaeological investigations. I was about to say, can I have some platinum, please? Away. Thank you. All right. Faya. Whoa. Ismar Frontier. Oh, we got Hito. While the ice mines of Viantel make a great deal of profit from ships passing through Fia's mass relay, the real money is made at Hito, as the only gas giant in the Faya gateway system, Hito is heavily developed by rival Helium-3 mining concerns. The world has three major and 26 minor moons, each of which is claimed by a different company. Those based on moons deeper into the gravity well tend to specialize on helium-3 extraction and refining, 
while those on the farther moons specialize in refueling services and shipment. The local economy was driven by black marketing, backroom deals, and cutthroat business. Each company attempts to sabotage its rival's facilities while protecting their own moon. This has led to open, corporation, uh, open corporate warfare three times in the last, three, uh, in the last century. All the major mercenary groups have offices in the Hito planetary system, though the Blue Suns enjoy a home team advantage shipping in cheap logistical supplies from Zoria. Little guy. Viantel. Viantel. Though a dwarf planet, Viantel's large amounts of water have led to heavy develop development by water cracking industries seeking to turn the planet into hydrogen oxygen fuel for starship thrusters. The surface is blanketed with habitable mo modules, mining equipment, and cracking stations. Since the initial settlement of Ilium in the nearby Tassale system, the radius of Viantel has decreased by 2 kilometers, indicating removal of over 72 cubic kilometers of ice. Some groups are concerned that the rate of loss may cause instability in the remaining structure. Wow! I need this shit. And... A man. A man is a small cratered rock. Its crust contains various light metals, though none in any concentration worth the trouble of mining. While the rest of the Baya system has seen extensive industrialization, a man lies fallow. Hey, it says it's rich. I don't believe your lies. Probe launched. And finally, Zoria. Mud, sweat, and spores is how Blue Sun's mercenaries characterized the planet that gave birth to their home office. This lush garden world is known for its heavy plant and fungal life, creating spectacular jungle zones over much of its eight continents. Despite persistent problems with rot and rust, Zoria attracts investors and corporations from all throughout the galaxy, since it has exploited only a fraction of its potential resources. The Blue Suns dominate security contracts on Zoria, so much that residents describe them less like a monopoly and more like a conquering regime. Thun. Oh, land, I guess. I thought I was scanning. Uh, let's see here. Honestly? Morden. The splash zone on this plasma round is increased, allowing you to scorch multiple targets. But not by much. 
We haven't used you at all. Heavy concussive shot. wonder if we're going to have another moment where we could use this arc projector. But we'll see. Hard to... Tapping into Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. It's hard to... to look in his actual good eye. He's just... You know, the other... The other one's so jacked up, it's sort of distracting. So he's just like... Eyeball... You have one eyeball. Well, that's better than having a patch over his eye. Yer! Bugs! Squad Bravo! A shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. I'm leading the party. What a place. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. Yes, let's. Monkey. It's like, no, that is wrong. This is not a monkey. To Bravo. Take a this position. is a pie jack. These people are not runaways. That's a pie jack. Hi there, pie jack. I don't know what's going on with your shadows. There was cover right there. Man, I suck at this game. Let's not act like we can take hits like that. Because <laughs> we can't. Just 
I even stop running up there? You're having so much fun, Zay. Taking position. Okay. First off. I hate those the damn pyro. One more try. Board to base. Armed intruders incoming at the southern checkpoint. Take cover. Oh. 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 With you. Lead the way. Uh. Oh. Not typical. Not shield. On it. I thought I was harmless, did you? Damn it, that only you've got. That pyro go. It's over here. Bye.
Six thousand credits. You guys need to get better about being alive. I did save all that, right? Okay. Awesome. <clears throat> no more, no more hangups. No more hookups. No more bullshit. Like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So, yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For 20 years, I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. We'd better get moving. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Zayid, I have to say that your armor is great. Except, on this side, you're exposed to the vacuum. If you like showing off the tattoo on the right arm, don't you? I get, I get you. I do it too. Look, it's cold out, but I'm rolling up my sleeve on the one arm. Just got stuck again. All right, everyone. Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Gone nearsighted, old friend. Burn, you son of a bitch. Just signed your death warrant, Masani. What the hell are you doing? Opening the gate. Next time you're gonna blow something up, I wanna know about it first. Vito was confident. Had a lot of men. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we keep up the pressure, no way he's getting out of here alive. This isn't the time. We'll discuss this later. Once Vito's dead, we can discuss anything you want. Zaid? <clears throat> Sometimes... I wonder 
about you. It will put him down. One shot did all of this. There must be a dude hanging out right here. In true. Okay. Turn around. Okay, good. Now turn around. Why are. Why is the blue there? Let's go. to shut them off! The whole place is gonna blow! No time. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. I get why you want Vito dead, but is he really worth watching those people burn to death? I'm not sticking around to watch. We stopped to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. I've seen... Plenty of people choose the top option. Yeah, so I'm gonna choose this option because I just think it's a really cool cutscene. So, yeah, we're we're gonna see it here. Let's get moving before Vito gets away. Glad you see it my way. Can you see? No! Help! No! Can you? Starting to make some questionable decisions after my rebirth. So. Incinerate this guy. If enjoy. My shield is out. Oh my god. It hurts my soul. It hurts me soul. But to get the coolest uh, to get this really cool cutscene, you gotta sacrifice those people. Okay, well, stop blowing up around. This is valuable. It is very valuable. Can't wait to use it. Lock and load. Stop hiding 
behind these men and tough fighters. Hold up. firefight, we just get up and walk towards you again. So that is a very good thing. The arc projector is a weapon you can use on pyro technical people. Nobody's dropping ammo. Oh, not this again. Sometimes I just wish this game would play flawlessly, but I don't think that's going to happen. I'm going to have to die. Screaming! I'm going to have to die in order to get them to start dropping thermal clips. It's not ammunition. It's a heat sink. Down. Four five one firestorm. It's a flame burst. And then I just thought about this like it was Mass Effect three. And like now you you can't do it that way. Let's get back to this guy. Now we have thirteen shots with it. That's how you do that. Every time you pick up a new heavy weapon, it'll refill your heavy weapon ammo. Too bad that doesn't happen very often. damn thing away. How did you do that? Play your goddamn prayers. Enough. 
Oh, you're supposed to survive. Oh shit, we're about to get up. Yeah, yeah. Um, get up. Go away, sir. One down. Oh. Oh. Yeah. How did you do that? And why the fuck did Zayed go down there? I need you to pay attention. We'll go this way. Glasses 
go. Lost heal. these up here. <clears throat> oh, sometimes these controls do not work. This stuff on.
impact. Sure. You know what to do. Not difficult. around the corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! 
Incoming. Ready to fight. Simple enough? Of course, right behind you. Lead the way. We'll avoid direct fire. Right behind you. Just the thing to help. Alright, everyone. Everyone that was tough. It's always tough. As I said before, insanity is no joke. And this game does a good job of screwing up sometimes. Go. See, like those guys were standing there last time. Look at all that ammo. Salvage. There's nothing down there. Move. Oh, 
Alright. Go through every door. Always go through every door. Even if there's nothing there. Go through it anyway. Alright. Best cutscene in the game. years ago. Look at you. I did you a favor. Saeed, please. I'm gonna die here, man. Do something. Try, you son of a bitch. Thermal clip. Cool guys don't look at explosions. <laughs> Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoria is destroyed. All personnel, all personnel lost. With video Santiago dead, Zaid can focus his full attention on the mission. And now we get Inferno grenade. Yay! And a new outfit. Yay! And a new weapon. Yay! That mission is a lot tougher without some of your squad being there, so. You know, the rest of these guys. Let's dress you up in your new gear. So it's this huge thing going on. They sort of all become, uh, like black, white, or red. So that's their new thing. And that's my thing too. I like going with the black, white, and red. Absolutely. All right. I'm getting a phone call. And I can't just get up to go to the phone, so I'm just gonna hope that it's not coming through on the mic. Uh, in the debriefing room so we all know what that means it means that is the end of the episode and I will debrief you for uh, and you can go on your merry way until episode 9 but this was episode 8 uh, we helped out Zaid and we got him his revenge that he wanted so much but what a cool cutscene that is right and most people are like oh, I you know, I, I don't know what to do. We gotta save all these people. You know, and there is a way that you can uh, keep his lo loyalty and do all that. Um, but at the same time, it's like, it's sort of bad. <laughs> I would call it bad. Like, this is the way to do it. It's like, we don't need uh, the blue suns here. And without a commander like that, then I think it's gonna be better in the long run. But uh, yeah, let me let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Headbutt that like button. Urgh. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, you know, this is just an ongoing series. And then I just realized today that there's a game I won't be able to play on here because it's on the Vita, and it's also like you can't really get it anymore. So. I will try, honestly, because I did not know about Mass Effect Infiltrator. So I'm going to try to pick that up on the Vita here, and then I guess I'll try to figure out a way that you guys can see it. Um, that's a Mass Effect game I haven't played. And soon I'm going to be watching Paragon Lost here. I'm just, I don't have a disk drive for my computer, so I'm trying to get that captured is one thing. I can capture myself. 
all I want, but I need to capture that and then to, like, do snippets of it, you know, pretty much where where I have a reaction, because I have not seen Paragon Lost. But yeah, we're trucking through here. We're trucking through, and then eventually we'll be in Dragon Age and doing the same thing for Dragon Age. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Again, leave comments, leave likes by headbutting them. You have to headbutt them. And subscribe for more content like this. Up above me is going to be the playlist for Mass Effect 2, what we're doing now. In the opposite corner, I'm going to put up the Halo Master Chief Collection uh, playlist that I've been doing. So yeah, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.